It's our last morning in Maine and we're off to do the most exciting thing. Yes. We're going to the Wiggly Bridge. The Wiggly Bridge. I said, okay, 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 okay. We have to. Fun of me. <laughs> we have to wiggle across it. Okay. It's gonna be a good time. Then we're heading, we're gonna do this whale watching tour. It's like four hours on a boat, <laughs> but you're guaranteed to see whales, so. Yes, you know. Yeah, knowing me, if I'm on there. There's the bridge. It's so beautiful. It's like a suspension bridge. I'm so excited. She's really wiggly. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Mom. <laughs> She's crazy. We're over these really intense rapids, actually. Like, see, watch this. Okay, it doesn't do it justice. It's very wiggly. Good times, good times. <laughs> Vacation's over, we can go home. We saw the wiggly bridge. What else is there? A whale. We need. I need a dolphin. See, a long time ago, we went to Corpus Christi, right? To Port Aransas or South, no, South, South Padre. Padre. Sorry, all the beaches except the. We went to South Padre and we went on this dolphin watching tour. And so I really had to pee. So I went down for like literally 30 seconds. As soon as I'm like, going to the bathroom, they're like, wait, I'm sorry, dolphin on the side of the board. Look over there. And I was so mad. And then we didn't see anything else. So we're going today and fingers crossed that my dreams, you know, come true. Come true. Dolphins are my favorite animals besides koalas and panda bears. Salem day. I'm so excited. We're going to Salem, Massachusetts. If you were living under a rock, that's like the creepiest. Salem is where like they had the witch trials back in the day, you know, as if I was there. I'm, I'm so excited. We're going to go to the witch's museum in the morning and then we're going to take uh, the Salem witch walk tour, which is going to just kind of, it's going to show all like the victims and what happened to them and I'm really excited. I'm the only one excited about this, but no, you're not. So we're gonna head out in a little bit We just wanted to get some views of the hotel because my camera died last night, so you didn't get to see The pretty sunset or anything It's a really nice hotel. I think this view doesn't do it justice, but no. <laughs> But it's really beautiful See you in Salem <laughs> If we survive, <laughs> actually, we're just trying not to get cursed. We're in Salem. It's beautiful. <laughs> Look how pretty the witch museum is. Oh, oh, gorgeous. Statue of the witch. <laughs> All right. They cry, cry. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> We're done 
done touring Salem. We went to the Salem Witch Walk, which was kind of this like guided tour, but also talked about like modern day magic. And that was actually pretty good. I would recommend that. We had a good guide. Um, and then we went to the Salem Witch Museum, which sorry, it's right out the window. Um, that one I would not recommend. It was really boring. Didn't really give you like a lot of info, a lot of, you know, stuff. Then we went to eat. Overall, it was a good day. I got a shirt. Mom and Lily got a shirt. We all got crystals blessed by Salem witches. We also performed a spell with the Salem witch, so you know, we're like, <laughs> Dad wasn't really having the whole Salem witch thing, the whole like real life witches, but that's okay. Honestly, it wasn't as like bad or cringy as I thought it would be. Thoughts, Mom and Dad? Peace and love. Peace and love. I wouldn't say the thing they said, but I don't remember it. <laughs> it was, uh, so, so be it. So so something so it be. So mode it be. So mode it be. So, so mode it be. So mode it be. <laughs> Thank you. So mode it be. <laughs> that was, um, that's the equivalent of like an amen in the witch's world. So, you know. The crazy person world. Dad. Careful. Careful. We don't know how many modern day witches are watching this. <laughs> we're driving in Boston and there are just so many people, okay? So many. People. I can't. Really pretty city though, so far. This is our Boston view. It's really beautiful. The window opens, which is super scary. Ah! We got forehead smudges on the window, so it's ruining the aesthetic. Back in the hotel, and mom is currently taking someone down on TripAdvisor. Our really bad Salem Museum tour. Mom is starting a fight with someone online. Well, it was really bad. We paid $12 per person to go into this two roomed thing, and the mannequins didn't move. It, it like advertised that there were going to be plays, like a bunch of sets, and like it was going to be kind of live action, sort of like what happened in Salem. And it, was not. What Chad says, a lot of people on here whining that it is not a museum. Personally, I loved it. It's exactly the way it was when I was here there 30 plus years ago. Get over your <laughs> This is a great place and a great exhibit. My response, that is the problem. Nothing has changed in 30 years. I was in Salem 25 years ago and the rest of the town has greatly changed. I didn't recognize it. The only thing that's changed there is the amount of dust on those tires. Mic drop, mom. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> a retro 60s animatronic experience and not in a good way. I'm guessing that nothing about this place has been updated since its opening. It's old and tired and not worth the admission. Keep in mind we toured the Salem like seven hours ago and my mom's still upset about it. Lily's watching the Duff and not taking part. Okay, that's a really bad <laughs> <laughs> Lily's not taking part in this family discussion. I have heard about this enough, so. <laughs> Reading yeah. reviews on TripAdvisor is my new favorite thing to do, honestly. They're so funny. A museum, a profit center to churn money. <laughs> <laughs> For the what? For the owners. <laughs> kids were bored, very dusty inside. Mannequins were broken and never repaired. They're sucking money on just thinking about witches in Salem. Much better places to visit and not be rushed through dusty old rooms. Preach. Amen, Peggy. But yeah, it's been a good day in Boston, and yeah, I'll we'll see you next time. We're currently on the streets of Boston trying to get a trolley um, to do like a tour around the city. Today's more of a history day. And we're gonna go see like Harvard and MIT, you know, because I'm like gonna go there. <laughs> just joking, just joking. <laughs> I just wanna see if they're real places, yeah. <laughs> Thank you.
Kill me. What? I'm really tired. Yeah, it's okay though. We're gonna, it's gonna be beautiful. So, we're getting really close. We might even be on Harvard, but there are no students that go here we've seen. So, because <laughs> our tour guide told us that all Harvard students wear straw hats and have a maroon band on them. And no one's seen that. Yeah, and I haven't so. seen a single person wearing a straw hat. So, I guess all the Harvard students might be like inside right now. Yeah, our tour guide was not very good. And he was a really bad driver. We went over like 10 curbs. We almost hit like so many objects and people. Yeah, it was bad. Coming to Harvard. Yeah. She just dropped her sunglasses <laughs> on camera. Like stupid idiot. Huggy Bear sat here. I don't know who Huggy Bear is. It's our first time being going on the subway. We're excited. So we just got back from um, Harvard meeting. Okay, this is a really bad angle and I'm like really pale. But Lily's not wearing pants so we can't really show part of her. <laughs> you don't have to expose me like that, Meg. <laughs> But we just turned on the TV and there's a tornado warning in Nashville, which is where we're flying into tomorrow to do our like layover thing. So that's great. We we love tornadoes. So I'm gonna go get in the shower really fast and we're gonna try and get some sleep before we leave tomorrow. But fingers crossed that there's no tornadoes, no bad layovers. It's 3.30 and we're about to get in our Uber. I'm a little nervous. No one else is nervous about the Uber driver thing. So it's way too early for this. And our flight's at 6, but we have to be there early, you know, for check-in and stuff. So, wish us luck. And no tornadoes. <laughs> Update, um, it's currently 7. We were supposed to leave at 6. Our flight got canceled. <laughs> so, we're thriving, you know. We're taking... My dad's getting a sign up for, like, this flight to New Orleans now then to San Antonio, so we love traveling. <laughs> this is awkward, and um, yeah, at least we don't have to worry about the Nashville tornadoes. <laughs> There's always a plus. The dumbest thing is we didn't even have to get up at 3. That's like what I'm kind of annoyed about right now is like we literally woke up at 3 o'clock, uh -huh. and we've been in the airport or we've been awake doing this for four hours when I could have been sleeping for those four hours but it's fine. okay so update we are seaboarding level <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry you might be like wow I'm always you but like we're used to the lush life because my dad's like a a boarder so well, he goes and he saves us is. no we are okay dad always, we always oh actually like, and we also put well, the game on our like, phone we're like ready to you know yeah, click so like, the, like we're normally like, like, at least yeah but then dad usually gets the tickets because he's always a list so we're probably not gonna get to sit with each other so that's awkward also it's currently seven o'clock and uh, the New Orleans flight leaves at ten so we've already been sitting here we for two hours to, we, we were supposed to leave at six <laughs> yeah it's seven now we're, we're supposed to board at 5 30. so we've been at the airport we're gonna be in total a good four or five hours so your home fault you were wishing the flight would be canceled so we can have another day in Boston. <laughs> i almost wish i would okay yeah. <laughs> Actually, this morning, I <laughs> this morning I literally was like, I wish our flight would get canceled. <laughs> so, or last night, me? I was like, yeah, I wish our flight could be canceled so we could have another day. <laughs> You're stupid. <laughs> yeah, karma caught up to us, but we don't get another day. We just get a really long airport day. Yay. I look like I crawled out of a gutter right now, but <laughs> it's fine. All right, we're back in San Antonio. Finally, it's four o'clock. We were supposed to get here 
10.30. Like 10.30. <laughs> but that's okay. We're here. We're safe. We're sound. It was a fun trip. You guys, I forgot to vlog, but we, we, our um, layover in Louisiana was behind schedule as per usual. And the subway was really, um, the, the food options weren't good. The subway was very slow. So it's been a really fun trip. Yeah. Any last words, Lily? No. Any last words, mom and dad? Ooh, it's good to be home. <laughs> my packages are coming. Oh my gosh. Her Glossier package and her Jack and Gab hoodie. All right, it's been a good trip. Peace. Can I get a kiss? And can you make it last forever? I said I'm about to go to war.